today we are reading Sri Sri Vilapakusumanjali, verse number 76, 78. O Sumuki, fair-faced girl, when will I secretly smile when I see you? Proudly and in excitement, beating Madhava with your play lotus during your love sport. O oh, Sumuki, fair faced girl, when will I secretly smile? When I see you proudly and in excitement beating Madhava with your play lotus during your love sport. One transcendental pastime after the other appears before the eyes of Srila Raghunadas Goswami, who is immersed in an ocean of Rasika pastimes, giving him great joy. Then again, when these visions vanish, he greatly laments and prays. Such a condition surely brings the highest goal of life to the devotee. When the worship of the all-sweet, all-ecstatic, all-loving, and all-beautiful Lord becomes established within the heart, the living entity obtains the relish of a complete bliss and thus become blessed. This is the great truth preached by the experienced loving devotee. Now we can stop here. And in Baba's commentaries, we were listening how deep emotions Raghunath is always, and how his emotions are like waves are coming and going and splashing his heart. So, in these words, each word of Raghunath is like a wave of his emotions. He is splashing us, sadhakas, with his emotions, but also he is splashing Radhika, his beloved Ishtadev, with these words, or we can say also waves of his emotions in the form of words. So every word, if we just stop on the words, is some kind of short, explanation of specific feeling. When Raghunath is addressing Radhika O Sumuki, he is not just pronouncing her name or glorifying her name. His attention is that just through this 
simple addressing of Radharani express her specific feeling. Oh, Sumki, fair-faced girl. When someone has a fair-faced girl, uh, sorry, face, <laughs> it means that his face is somehow shining with different emotions. So this Sumuki also is in a little hidden way describing specific pastimes where Radhika became Sumuki with spe these specific emotions which is manifested in her face who is a very fair, full of light because she is overwhelmed with emotions. Then Raghunath is saying, when will I secretly smile? It's a deep meaning and even hidden meaning in this secret smile. When someone is smiling, he is expressing his emotions. And when someone is secretly smiling, then also he is expressing his hidden, deep, intense emotions. But the situation is like this, that he has to secretly smile. So there's a lot of emotions is present are present in these words. When my heart is burning, will I secretly smile? When will I smile on some specific way, hidden way? So another part of the sentence is, I will secretly smile when I see how you proudly. So this word proud is also expression of specific emotion. And it's describing Radhika's nature and describing many, many things, actually. Then he is going on and say, when I see you proudly and excitement, another emotion, another wave of emotion is present in his word. Excite, you will be, you are full of excitement. So this is another way of intense emotion of Shimati Radhika, which her King Kari is describing. And with all these emotions which are present in the, his words, he is saying that you are beating Madhava. When you, when you are beating someone or you are correcting someone, there is also emotions in that. You will not beat someone if you don't have some feelings, some emotions. Isn't it? So beating is also, this action is also a mo Bhava Mai Radha specific sign of her love and desire to give a pleasure to Krishna. How you are beating him with the play lotus it's not ordinary lotus, but it's a lotus which is specifically meant for the loving, amorous place. You are beating him. You are not beating him with other flowers. You are beating him with the play lotus. 
લીલા ખામાં આવે સો ધીસ પ્લે લોથસ ઇન યુઅર હેન્ડ્સ ઇઝ ઓલ્સો ધ સાઇન ઓફ યોર સ્પેસિફિક ઇમોશન્સ એન્ડ ડિઝાયર્સ ટુ ગીવ યોર લવર સ્પેસિફિક હેપીનેસ એન્ડ પ્લેઝર so we can see here how ragunath through his each word is completely focused in one mellow of love of shimata radhara yesterday we were reading and listening the gurudev's words in this book temple of love and in one place he was saying actually that love is the only real dharma so we can see here the living example of ragunath who is whose love for radhika is his only dharma he doesn't have any other dharma but one pointed love towards his istadev his beloved swami and this is the reason why each of his words in this very short words is full of different waves of emotions and sadaka what we simple sadakas can do just to open our heart to be splashed with these emotions and this is practically speaking this is our only sadhana when the heart is splashed with this rasik the emotions then everything will be come on on proper place chanting mantras going deep in understanding of mantras going deep in understanding of the scriptures because the heart will be splashed with the pure transcendental emotions or love so baba is here saying rasamai would you please read the first sentence of commentary of ananta das baba ji one transcendental pastime after the other appears before the eyes of Shiva Raghunadas Goswami who is immersed in an ocean of rasika pastimes giving him great joy so oh. pastimes are also acting like waves to someone who is already immersed who is diving in the ocean of pure love we cannot stand on the land 10 kilometers far away from the sea and expecting to be splashed with the waves at least we should come near by the sea and expose our heart to be splashed with this transcendental waves then pastimes in the form of sportis vis sportis we starts to 
to splash the consciousness and the vision of devotee. Ragunat is on the level of Prema even more higher on in the level of Mahabhava. He is diving in the ocean of Mahabhava. This is his natural position. But in the Lila, which is going on, he is coming and going in out to show us, sadakas, what is our goal. So his visions are very vivid. So many times we heard about this. His visions are very, very deep and vivid. Whispered it. And because of these deep, intense, vivid visions, he can describe at least a little bit these kind of emotions and what he was looking for in front of him. Because he sees ocean of rasic pastimes. And these words in very hidden, very subtle way, explaining very confidential, very hidden moments in amorous pastimes. And only someone who is splashed with these waves of Radhika's strong emotions and loving pastimes can speak, can write about this for our benefit. If someone wants to add something, please. This is one of the very, very deep verses, and Baba is trying to explain it in the commentary, but he will not explain to the fully. Because like our Guru Dev is saying, we should relish this, meditate, and it should be re revealed to the sadhakas. Rasamui, please, do you want to continue if second? Then again, when these visions vanish, he greatly laments and prays. Such a condition surely brings the highest goal of life to the devotee. Such a condition. Which kind of condition? Raghunat is showing us what is the, our goal. Greatly laments, lamenting and praying brings auspicious condition to attain the highest goal. So this is our goal, how to feel this intensity of love which eternal Radhika's maidservants has. They are the shadows of Radhika and they just reflect all Radhika's emotions. But our goal has to be how to become shadow of the shadows. Because true, the hearts of Radhika's eternal, ma perfect maidservants, all these emotions will penetrate in our existence, inner existence. And 
and then relishing of divine couple will be complete. Relishing without love is not complete. Many times Gurudev was speaking, yes, different devotees can have different realizations about Krishna, about Supreme Personality of Godhead, about Paramatma, different forms, aspects of Supreme Personality of Godhead. But no one has complete picture, complete relishing. But now we have great opportunity by the Gora Kripa and Gaudiya Vaishnava Kripa, Gora Bhakta Vrinda, to relish fully loving pastimes between Radha and Mukha. And it is possible only in Two moods, like a sake or manjari. But even in the manjari form, in the manjari position, those personalities can really, really completely, completely relish these loving pastimes and these amorous pastimes and the exchange of these pastimes. And only Manjari was witnessing this situation when Radhika is beating with the play lotus Mohan. She is correcting him. My dear, you made mistake. It's not going like this. I have to teach you. I have to show you for your pleasure. You will be more satisfied when you allowed me to teach you more and more about this Shingar Ras. So I have to correct you with this playful lotus which is full of deep meanings. Puff! Radhe, Radhe, Jashi Radhe, Jai Gurudev, Sandrat. Um, one, one, one word of this you, you did, you did not take up, but I'm sure you've thought about, is where this emotional experience is happening. And this is important, I think, because it helps us as, as sadhikas to do our practice. Babaji says this experience, this emotional experience, must be established in the heart, inside of us. So in a way, at least to me, what is being described here by this very difficult and strange verse <laughs> and and the entire poem Vilapakus Manjari is a picture of the soul. And what uh, Raghunathas Kusvami is trying to do here is to put into our hearts the full field of emotions that are possible to the to the jiva to the soul so i imagine it in my in my mind like a, a, a huge valley and on the one end is complete union between radha and mohan and complete ecstasy then and on the other end of the valley the other side of the valley is complete separation and all the anguish and sadness that that means. And so I feel like this verse is trying to, the whole poem is trying to 
help us to fully realize the breadth, how large the field of emotions of the soul is. And to understand that that soul is already in us, obviously, but that we need to realize how great it is, how large it is. The 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 the, the great uh, expanse of emotions that we have. It's not something that's outside us. It's not. Uh, later on, he talks about the uh, Babaji talks about a fantasy. It's not a, something we imagine outside us. It's really our own heart. So once this full realization of the valley of our emotions, divine emotions, is established in us, he says, then we, we've achieved realization. So I, I read it, or I experience it kind of like, kind of like a, a guidebook for this valley, helping us to understand how deep the pleasure of being together with God can be and how dreadful the separation from God can be. And when we've realized this field of emotions, then we've arrived. Thank you, Dalaj. Yes. It's a very nice point. And it said, when the worship will be established within the heart of living entity, so then relish is complete worship has to be established in the heart what does it mean when the love be established in the heart this is the only worship all other wor this love is only paraphernalia for real worshipping. Without love we can have so many paraphernalia, rules, regulations, rituals, but real paraphernalia is the love in the heart of lover. Then, like you said, realizations can start to splash person in the waves. This is our goal. This is the goal of Sadak. Hmm. And this is the great truth preached by experienced loving devotees. Experienced loving devotees, they preached only this truth and nothing else. Although maybe we can say they preach philosophy, they speak about Vedas. Yes, they did that. But all around to establish the main truth. When, by the Lord's grace, the devotee gradually advances. His desires for personal happiness gradually subside, and he will consider happiness, distress, good, bad, heaven, hell, and liberation as useless as phantasmagorias. The desire for liberation must be counted amongst the different cheating propensities. Gradually, the goddess of devotion, Bhakti Devi, will be established within the devotee's heart, which will then be inundated by Bhakti Rasa, 
as he begins to yearn for Raga Mai Seva, devotional service with firm attachment to the Ishtadev. So this is enormously <laughs> important words of our Anantadas Babaji. And we should try, each of us, because we cannot cover in this kind of Zoom sharings. But if us, each of us has to go deeply and to understand, because he is giving the path instructions, which are very, very crucial. So he said, when by the Lord's grace, so we need the Kripa. We cannot do it by our own. There is no sadhan for that. Only by the grace of the Lord, grace of the Ishtadev, and grace of the pure devotees. Devotee, sadaka gradually advances. What does it mean to advance? What is real advancement? For me, real advancement is attachment. The more person is attached in the heart, with his Ishtadev, he is more automatically detached from all other unauspicious things. So Gurudev many times was talking, first you have to be attached, then you will become detached. But what is the goal of this attachment? And who is the goal of that attachment? Swami. Beloved Shimateradaran. And when the, and this attachment is the result of the Kripa. Guru Kripa, Ishta Kripa brings devotee to the stage of attachment. And this is real advance. Maybe outside this kind of devotee doesn't look so advanced. Because he is wearing clothes in some funny ways. He doesn't even want to show himself like a Vaishnava. Or maybe he is doing something which is very strange from external point of view. But to measure his advancement is to understand and feel his attachment to Ishtadi. And this is real advancement. All other Detachments, superficial attachments are hypocrisy. But when we are really attached to Radhika, to embodiment of transcendental love, then the all world becomes Fata Morgano, how, how he said, Fata Zmagoria. Isn't it Udavaji? Something like this. I don't know if I pronounce yes, it. Yes, that's it. And all the and all the everyday emotions are just fantasy. Fantasy. Yes. Yes. We we person devotee doesn't have to do any austerity to be detached from the world. He has to be attached 
to his beloved Ishtadev. So this is the meaning why so many times Gurudev is speaking and giving these examples. Increase your senses. Increase your senses. Go, Vardhana. Increase. Raise up, Vardhana. Go, your senses. Because we will be attached for material things or we will be attached for Radhika. So superficial, artificial detachment with austerities doesn't work, especially on a long run. And many examples in Bhagavata shows that many persons were doing different austerities and they became detached. When they suddenly, but when they suddenly saw two fishes, how they are kissing each other, all their vratas just vanished. Vows, austerities, detachment, just because kama appear in their heart very spontaneously. Why? Because they haven't been attached to the source of love. So I think that is a very big secret, open secret, which Gurudev is trying to establish in our consciousness, in our daily life also, that we should try to open our heart for attachment to Radharani. Then all other things which are not valuable, which are fantasy, will vanish. Gurudev, do you want to say something? It's not fair. When person who is attached for material things is speaking about real attachment, it's not so effective, Gurudev. But when you are speaking and others are speaking about real attachment, then devotees can have some benefit. Okay, we are surrendering. We are accepting our fallen position. What to do? Rasumai, would you like to continue if no one wants to add something? Gradually, Acha, gradually, the practicing devotees' identification with his male body will vanish and he will start thinking of, him, of himself as a manjari qualified for serving Shri Shri Radha Mohana. Thus, I am leaving my Purusha Abhiman that I am a man. In other words, that I am enjoyer. Doesn't matter if I am in male body or a female body. Until I am fixed in my desire to enjoy material nature, I am in male consciousness. Because the quality of the man, man consciousness is coming from Krishna. And living entity which is living in material world wants to imitate him, to become God. But it doesn't work. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur was singing this famous song, I am living my Purusha Abhiman identity of male person enjoyer, 
and I'm taking the shelter of Radharani's Sakis. Thus, the right demeanor will take place in his heart and he will become fixed in Vraja Bhajan. Demeanor, behavior, Udavaji, isn't it? Something like this. Can you help us? The right behavior will take place in his heart. When he leaves consciousness, I am a man, and accept consciousness, I am Manjari. Then he starts to properly behave, to properly live, to properly act. But it would be, so it would be behavior without any uh, selfish goals. Yes. Behavior which comes directly from from loving just i mean just take in its most simplest form what is love how do we define love it's giving giving from the soul not giving for something just giving full stop and this is the way the heart behaves when it was is purified i give without wanting anything I don't give because of something, I just give in order to be. And this is why Prabhupada is saying in the last sentence of Bhagavad Gita, this is the only normal position of the soul, to be with energy who always gives the pleasure, gives, 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 not taking, but gives the pleasure. To be. And, this is the, and this is the essence of Radha. Yes. be giving the feminine the feminine essence of Ram. Yes. Hmm? only krishna is a male hmm. all others even if they have a male body they have female consciousness female love female compassion female playfulness because they want to satisfy him in different moods. So only he is the man. But all others are prakriti. Exactly. Someone who is giving and giving and giving. And he is taking and taking. And in one moment he said, I want also to learn to give. Because I see that it's much more pleasure in giving than is taking. So he is becoming conquered by love of his loving devotees to receive their loving giving. Mm. And then he reprocicates trying to give them so love, ultimately, love between Radha and Mohan is exchange of love, exchange of giving. Hmm. Ultimately. The whole scene of the material world will vanish from his eyes and he will start to perceive the eternally luscious, sweet and beautiful kingdom of God. There he will be blessed by floating and sinking in the ocean of all sweet and all beautiful Shishirada Mohana's forms, qualities and pastimes. 
who are dearer to him than millions of lives in both meeting and separation. He will float, he will flow and sink in the ocean of Radha Mohan's forms, qualities and pastimes. He will flow. When, because he will be in ocean, when the person is in ocean, he can just give up everything and flow or sink, dive deeply in the ocean. He cannot walk in the ocean. He cannot fly in the ocean. There is no any other activity in the ocean but just to flow or sink. There is no other project. We can try. I will preach, I will this, I will do that, I will do this, but when you are in ocean, you cannot do anything. You can just flow and sink. <laughs> and this is the position of our Ragunat, Prayojan Guru. He is always floating in the ocean of Mahabha, and he is sinking, not only floating, but he is sinking in this ocean of emotion. This is a really fest real festival of pure emotions, full of different waves. This is the highest fulfillment of the practicing devotee. This is the highest fulfillment. This is the highest goal. I want to flow and sink in the loving pastimes of Radha Mohan. I want to flow and sink in their loving names, qualities, forms. So this is the highest fulfillment of the aspirant. And like many times Gurudev was saying, if someone wants to attain his spiritual identity, he has to take a shelter of Shumatera Tera. This is the ocean and waves. She is and the ocean and waves. Krishna is the ocean, but Radhika is the ocean of all qualities and emotions, and so these emotions are her waves. And this is the highest fulfillment or hankering for each real, sincere sadaka. Although he has so many troubles, although he has so many problems, he is sadaka. He is up and down, up and down, up and down. This is sadhana. Perfection is not sadhana. Perfection is siddha. Perfection. He is situated. This person is situated. But sadaka is up and down. He is on his own waves. Praying and hankering to dive deeply. Lord Shigora Sundara, who is the embodiment of blissful pastimes, love, and deep taste has preached this sweet kind of worship to the world and his dear most associates 
Shirupa and Shiraguna Das Goswami have shown the way to the people of the world by giving them the perfect example. It is most beneficial for a practicing devotee to hear and chant the stories of their worship and their love. But this is very clear instruction of Baba, our Guru Dev, all, all, all our Acharyas. Most beneficial for aspirant is to listen and chant mantras, but also to listen the stories, lilas, how perfect, eternal Radhika's maid servants worship and loved Shimateradara. We should learn from them. I cannot learn from myself. I need to connect with them. This is how I understand. Now Lila is starting. <laughs> you can, we can see how long paragraph Baba gave to prepare our consciousness, to purify our consciousness, to connect us with his emotions, with Raghunath's emotions, with Radhika's emotions. And then we can relish the Lila which is coming and which is full of deep meaning and secrets. So we should never minimize these first parts of commentaries and saying, I know this. That is. Mohana has finished decorating Swamini's hair. This is where Shiragunata's vision of the previous birth ended. Now he perceives a new pastime of Mohana sitting behind Swamini, trying to make her hair nicely. How wonderful is his expertise in decorating the hair. The embodiment of erotic transcendental rasa engages himself in the service of Mahabhav. Swamini is most satisfied with Mohana's expert arrangement and says how beautifully you have done my hair she wondered how can i properly reward him and then gives him a sweet kiss when he is kissed our hero makes a mistake he is out of his usual habit and forgets everything. Then the pastimes develop in such a way that Swamini has to beat him with her play lotus, like a teacher who has made some mistake. She is certainly a school mistress. Who can say in how many ways she can teach? Shimati 
eagerly comes to Shirada Kun to meet Mohana at noontime. And in the village of Kunjera, west five kilometer northwest of Radakund, she meets her dearmost girlfriend, Brinda. Oh, Brinde, where have you come from? Brinda replies, from Harry's foot soles. Radha, where is he? Brinda, in the forest by your lake. Radha, what is he doing there? Brinda, he is learning how to dance. Radha, who is his teacher? Brinda, your very form which is like a dancing girl whom he sees in each direction. He is simply wandering around, dancing behind you. Krishna had his own experience. Radhikara Prema Guru Amishishanata Sada mananamrike na jaye utvata. Chaitanya Charitamrita Adilila 4. Shiradika's love is the teacher, and I am the dancing pupil. Thus, she always makes me dance in a different ways. So the famous essential <laughs> words which were spoken by Krishna. And in that way he is celebrating this extraordinary, sublime position with his own words of Shimataradara. She is my teacher. In love. She is my teacher of love because she is full of love. I am becoming completely intoxicated and I have to dance. I am dancing according to her desires. Prema is her Shakti. Main Shakti of Radhika is her love, her pure prema. Sometimes people are very attracted to different kinds of Shaktis, mystic powers. But the pure love is the greatest Shakti. So, through this Shakti, Radhika is controlling Krishna to the utmost. She is giving him a pleasure to the utmost. She is doing with him whatever she wants for his pleasure. And when she bites him with the lotus flower, which has different deep meaning, she is also teaching him the art of love. Because her kiss her, kiss, sorry, Radhika kiss him in one moment. Baba was explaining here in coming. And in that moment, after this sweet kiss, Krishna lost himself. And he started to make different mistakes in loving affairs. So these kind of mistakes are also part of rasa, parakiyabha. But Radhika with tender, meaningful lotus flower, 
playful lotus correct him. And this is her supreme position that she can correct him. Oh, my lover, you made mistakes. Sorry, I am your teacher. I have to correct you. Because in that way, when I correct you, you will become more expert in exchange of love. And in that moment, she is little proud, looking outside. And in the verse, Raghunath is writing, I see how you proudly and ex with excitement beating Mohan. Because she is taking the leading role to teach him for his benefit, for his pleasure. So this is the mystic <laughs> power of prema. Hmm. And there Even is no... I'm sorry. No, no. Continue, please. It's mystical, but what's, what's more mystical is that there's no book. She's a teacher without a book. She's a teacher passing along the, the, the love. It's all in the form. If you didn't get butterflies in your stomach when Rasamai sang, like I did, then you need to listen again. Because this is the demonstration that it's in the form. There's no content. There's no book. There's no ideology or doctrine. It's a lesson in feeling, which has no words and no substance. And this is the lesson that's been taught. Rasame, can you please sing one more time <laughs> for us who has a hard hearts, stone like hearts? We need to melt at least a little bit. <laughs> you are most sweet. I come here to melt myself. Radhika Prem Guru Amishishanata. Sada mandana mrite na chayad pata. Shiradika's love is the teacher, and I am the dancing pupil. Thus, she always makes me dance in different ways. Remember, you all know this. Prema makes Krishna dance. Prema makes Jiva dance. Prema itself dance. And three of them are dancing in the same place. All Jivas are actually dancing. Because Krishna is dancing. If Krishna is not dancing, because he is so stimulated by Radhika's prema, no one will be alive. There will be no creation, even spiritual, what to speak about material. Everything what is, exists is actually a result of Krishna's dancing out of Radhika's love. Gurudev, one more time. Okay. Krishna has made a mistake in his play, for which he gets beaten by Radhika's play lotus. Rasa Maya Krishna cannot even ascertain the value 
of this Rasika beating. How much pleasure her rebukes are giving him. When my beloved is angry with me and chastises me, that takes my mind away from the reverential hymns of the Vedas. <laughs> In that field, who can measure the ecstasy of this Rasika chastisement in this pastime. Shri Krishna Das Kaviraja's honey sweet statements are fully justified. She makes Krishna drink the honey beverage named Shyam Ras, erotic flavors. Thus, she always fulfills all of Krishna's desires. So, before we continue, I just want to say that we should learn how to be used in these specific expressions of our Acharyas. Because through their words, they are putting different codes and through bhajans, our bhajan, and by the mercy, a high tuki kripa, causeless mercy. We should be used and relish these words which are full of hidden, very, very hidden meanings. And this lila is going on in very intimate situation of Nivriti Nikunj, where only manjaris are present. And this is the exchange of very, very touchy, tender, loving, amorous pastimes between Radha Mukha. And we should feel this. Like Udavaji said, there is no book which can describe this. Amorous pastimes cannot be described. Some hints are here. But feelings are important. Relishing of these pastimes is, are important in the spiritual identity. So we should be used little by little for this kind of expression of our acharyas. Because in that way we can penetrate more and more. No one else than Sri Radha is so expert in making Mohana, who is himself the enchanter of millions of cupids, relish the honey named Shamras or Shringaras in so many ways. No one, even Chandravali, who is the expansion of Radhika, even the different kind of Sakis who are also expansion of Radhika, cannot give him such a pleasure in Sringaras. And this is the reason why he is always running for Radharani, and also he is running for her maidservants. He wants to taste and he is never satisfied. 
And Manjuri Bhav is so beautiful Bhav, which we receive in Kali Yuga by the mercy, causeless mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that we can listen this, that we can think about this, talk about this, chant all these mantras with specific mood, so that we can relish this deeper meaning of mantras. And so on. And this Ringa Ras is most pure Ras. I remember it says Shuchi Ras also, one of the names, Shuchi, purest. It's nothing material. And this is why it's so relishable that the heart automatically wants to be attached to that. Oh, right. Shyam Sundara can simply not imagine how Akanda Rasa Vallabha Varsha Bhanavi Sri Radha, who is the complete Rasika Lady Love, serves him by giving him this indescribable rasa. He is Akanda Rasa, Vallabha. Mm -hmm. She is everywhere present to give here Krishna. And not everywhere, she is all the time present. Radhika is always present to give different kinds of love to her beloved. So anyone who wants to come close to Krishna must take a shelter of Akhandarasa Vallabha. Radhika, who will come in the heart in the form of love in Hladini Shakti, or we, we say, and help devotee to develop attachment for Ishtadi. Without Radha's Kripa, attachment cannot appear in the heart. Attachment is a result of Radha's Kripa. Attachment is a feeling. <laughs> Attachment is one kind of love. If there is no love, there is no attachment. So everyone depends on love. Plants are growing because of love. Trees are going because of are growing. Animals, human beings, everything is growing and growing because of love. But I am so foolish that I think that I am the male. And that everything is meant for my personal enjoyment. And this is fantasy of false ego. This is my greatest misfortune. Everywhere is love, but I see only myself. And I want to explode this love. When Tulasi sees Swamini 
striking Mohana with her Leela Kamala play lotus. She giggles, covering her mouth with her veil and her accompanying manjaris laugh with her. Where our hero has failed and why? And why Swamini is not satisfied is indicated by this meaningful giggling. And this brings our hero back to his senses. Hmm. Who's giggling? brings Krishna to his senses. Manjar is giggling. She heard, he heard this giggling. When they saw how Radhika is chastising him and little smiling. And this word, Lila, Kamala, play lotus, can be interpreted in different ways. So when Krishna sees, no, what is... Where our hero has failed and why Swami is not satisfied is indicated by this meaningful giggling, secret giggling, secret Rasika giggling of Manjaris. They're looking what's happened and how Radhika with Lila Kamala chastised her lover. And this giggling brings Krishna to consciousness. This is Manjari Seva. We can see how giggling of Manjari, secretly smiling, can be also engaged in the Seva of Parakya Bhav, Sringajras. When um, Tulasi means to say, when Krishna sees me giggling, he will understand his own fickleness and where he has failed. He sees me, <laughs> not Radhika, because of my face. In my giggling voice, he will hear where he made mistake in amorous pastimes. It's very, very subtle, very deep. Each sentence is a mantra for a bhajan. How meaningful this giggling is, is indicated by the words Gudha Hasya, secret laughing in the text. The kinkaris are the embodiments of the devotional service. They don't display any other activity than service. The practicing devotees will become qualified to serve Rasamaya Shyam and Rasamayi Swami by following in their footsteps. Uh, 
prarthana says, be absorbed in the pastimes of the Yuga Lakishore. Living in their abode as a companion of the Sakis. The stream of Shiragunata's vision flows on without interruption. O oh, fair face, playful girl, when you have your erotic pastimes on your love bed in the play kunja, you strike Mohana with your play lotus when he makes a mistake because he's floating on waves of ecstasy. Raguna Das Goswami, the crown jewel of all devotees, saying, Prays to Ishwari's lotus feet. When can I giggle with my girlfriend as I witness this fun through the holes in the foliage? Thus and the words. Jai Jai Shirate. Thank you, Rasana. Thank you, Dawaji, for your sharings and helping your poor brother. Thank you, Gurudev, for supporting all of us with your silence, but powerful silence. Without your silence, we would not be able to speak. This subject... Well, all of this. Wow. No. No. Can I ask a question? Oh. What is... Yeah. What is Play Lotus? I didn't understand. Yes, thank you very much for this question. It's a really proper question. So what does it lotus? Many times we can hear that our Gurudev, you want to explain, please, to Karun Sagar? No? Mm. Okay, many times we can hear this word lotus in different poems of our acharyas. And this is, they are using this poetic comparison to explain actually feelings. Sometimes they are using different kinds of flowers, flavors. They are using different, different metaphors to explain the hidden meanings in the Parakya Bhava Lilas of Radha Moha. And also devotees who knows the lotus feet of Shimata Radharani and different signs on her souls of lotus feet are meditating on the lotus flower which is situated on Radharani's lotus feet. I don't know in which one left or right, but it doesn't matter. So this lotus sometimes represents Radhika's tenderness, her compassion, her love. Sometimes it is used to show eagerness of Radharani's love.
sometimes this lotus is explaining in a sat in a hidden way radharani's mana not so strong mana but mild mana and we can see here in these words she was a little bit unsatisfied with krishna's mistakes in their exchange of loving amorous pastimes so she is using this lotus like expression of her love in the mana mood and this lotus is also in some other verses as i remember is some kind of expression where radhika wants to chastise krishna and this way of chastising is very sweet very lovely and in that way through this lo lotus she is chastising him through her passionate love because lotus also represent as as i remember passionate love not only ordinary love but passionate love and if we just this explanation put in this specific lila we can see how lotus lila kamala everything is bursting out of kama in everything nikunja lila so she is using this lila kamal to actually give him give krishna with her chastisement more inspiration so so on and so on and so on gurudev can explain even more and more and more in the waves so we should relish explanations but also we should relish through our open heart and bhajan deep inside of us each of these words and for that we need the kripa the more kripa we have the more relish is present in our heart and more we can say even through feelings more understanding is there so it was my sorry if my answer was confused <laughs> or maybe not complete but i gave some hints according to my abilities i'm sorry that is Sometimes acharyas are saying, using this word of lotus, because they want there is no lotus at all, but they are using this picture of lotus to explain how Radhika pushed Krishna with her lotus feet, which are tender like a lotus. She pushed him in the arm. Hey, come to yourself. I have to give you so much that you cannot even imagine. So her lotus feet are also lotus. They are so tender and full of love for Mohan. And so on. So on. Thank you, Karma Sagar, for this question. I... Thank you, Goranga. Thank you. Thank you, Razamai. Thank you, Udava.